everybody, this is Daryl from Lambs Hill Shooting, and today I just wanted to go over a little bit about my USPSA shooting rig, what belt I use, what mag holders, what firearm, all that fun stuff. So, let's get into it. Are you ready? Stand by! Alright guys, let's, let's get into this, starting first with the firearm. Now, this is uh, my competition gun. I've had this gun for quite a quite a while. Um, I am shooting limited division in USPSA. Therefore, uh, just starting out, I'm using a Gen 3 Glock Model 22 chambered in 40 caliber. Um, as you can see, the gun is clear. Uh, so far, served me well. Uh, there are a few modifications to this gun. Uh, a couple of which I made, one I didn't make. When I first got the gun, it came with the aftermarket True Glow front sight. Um, I plan on upgrading the rear sight shortly. But as far as the modifications that I've made, I swapped out the stock Glock trigger with a, uh, a flat, flat face trigger. And also, I have changed the magazine release to an ambidextrous mag release. I don't know if you can see that or not. The whole mag release is still operable from the left side of the gun just as it normally would be for a right-handed shooter. But where I'm left-handed, it's kind of a pain to drop the mag. So I got this ambidextrous mag release that has this little lever on it that you can actually take out if, say, uh, you wanted to shoot the gun right-handed and didn't need that. But it just gives me a, a spot for my thumb to get onto that magazine release from my left hand to drop the mag. Um, so that's about it. I do plan on the future on possibly putting a, uh, a flared mag well onto this gun. Uh, also, as I said, upgrading the rear sight. Probably go with a different barrel, something like that. But just starting out, I'm using what I've got. So that is the Glock Model 22 Gen 3 40 caliber. Magazines to go with it, just standard Glock brand 15 round magazines. I did add the Pierce grip um, grip extensions, so it just it gives me a little more little more purchase point with my support hand on the uh, on the bottom of the gun. Gives me a little more control. At some point, I may put like a plus two or plus three extension on my mags just to give me a little more capacity, but cross that bridge when we get to it. I have thought about going to the P mags. Um, still kind of up in the air about that. Right now, the Glock mags drop free. They fit the gun, so that's what I got for, for now. Now getting into the belt. Um, the the gun and the magazines I already had. Uh, had them for a long time. Never really had much of a use for for the Glock. Um, but now that I'm chewing competition, it actually fits perfectly in the, the limited division. But as far as stuff that I bought, I got this, this uh, competition shooting rig. This is all kinds of different pieces that I, I uh, purchased and put together myself. You can buy complete kits with belt, holster, and magazine holders. I didn't do that. I just bought all the individual pieces. So starting off first with the main belt. This is a CR Speed. This is their, uh, their super high torque range belt. It is a two-piece belt. Um, I'm actually wearing the inner piece right now because I'm going to do some dry fire later. But it has uh, hook and loop fastener, or what a lot of people call Velcro, even though it's a brand name, around the inside of this belt. And then the outside of the inner belt is the same thing, just the opposite side. Um, so the inside of this has the, has the hooks, the inner belt has the loops on the outside. So, this is a great competition belt because you can put the inner belt on in the morning, 
go to the range, help set up, get everything ready, and then when you're actually ready to start shooting the match, you just open the belt up, wrap it around you, and the belt, the outer belt actually grabs hold of the inner belt and stays where you put it. So you're not sitting there at the range all day trying to pull your belt up because it keeps it keeps drooping. Great belt. Um, I did a lot of research online and looked at what other shooters were saying about this belt and um, looking at the other shooters that were using it. So far, I have no complaints with this belt. As far as the firearm holster, this is a Ghost uh, Thunder Glock holster. It has two points of adjustable retention, these two screws here. It also has adjustable cant as far as forward and backwards and also moving the butt of the gun towards the shooter's waist or away from the shooter's waist. Um, gives you a lot of flexibility. You can also adjust the height of the firearm. Obviously you want to keep the, the heel of the butt of the gun above the top of the belt as per USPSA rules, but it does give you, give you that, um, that flexibility. You can get, get the gun up as high as you want or you can get it down as low as you legally can per Per the rule book. Um, great quick draw holster. I have no complaints about it. Um, I know running limited I could use um, like a speed holster, uh, kind of like an open open style holster. I like this one because I can run this one in a lot of different divisions. I could run it in an open division, I could run it limited, I could run it uh, production, probably carry optics, things like that. Um, so just a great holster. I kind of went for the carbon fiber look. Uh, no complaints so far. The mag holders, you see I have three. These are also CR Speed uh, mag holders. Just again, great mag holders. Just like the belt. The nice thing about these, well there's a couple of nice things, they are completely ambidextrous. So all you have to do is take it apart, take the parts, swap them from one side to the other, and you can change which side of the belt um, these holders ride on. They are, you can adjust them a little bit. If you look at the bracket here, you can adjust them a little bit for height. All you have to do is take that bracket and flip it over. Um, and that will will raise or lower the, uh, the mag holder itself. Also on the mag holders there's little inserts in here uh, for different um, different make and model of magazines anything from Glock to CZ to uh, you know STI all your all your competition type guns uh, obviously I have the setup for Glock but also right on the front is this cutout. This cutout is great for when you're going to get a purchase on a magazine to do that speed reload. You can index your finger right on the front of the mag so when you pull that mag out and go to put it in the gun, your finger is right lined up with the mag well, right where it's supposed to be, so you can jam that magazine home great feature about about these mag holders obviously I have three of them on the very back here I just have a Blackhawk um, two magazine holder that I just kinda slid on there obviously I'm gonna be using the CR speeds for um, you know my actual mags that I'm gonna be grabbing during competition but I can Take a couple of spare mags if I'm going to be running a big stage where I'm going to need more than just the three. I can throw a couple extra mags in here. Um, also for top off mags. Um, there may, may be a stage where I might be a little close on, on ammo. Um, you know, if it's, a, if it's a comp stock stage and I can make up shots, I might need some extra rounds in the magazine just to be safe so I don't run out. So 
on make ready, I will load the firearm with one of my spare mags, drop that mag back out, and then put my, you know, my full mag uh, in it. That way I have a full magazine in the firearm plus the one in the chamber so I'm not shorting myself around. And finally we get to the back of the belt. This is a generic tourniquet holder. Uh, I believe I got it off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, it is a uh, aid and aim tactical, it says on the back of it. Uh, a lot of different mounting options with this tourniquet holder. Uh, you can attach it, you know, via hard hard points with screws. You can attach it to a belt. Uh, I believe you can also attach it to Molly if you if you're so inclined. Um, not really made specifically for shooting belts, but uh, it. It does its purpose, it holds a tourniquet. Uh, the red and white cross here on the front, I just took some paint markers, kind of filled that in. It's It normally comes the same color as the uh, as the holder itself. As far as the tourniquet goes, it is a cat style, or combat application tourniquet. Uh, cat style tourniquet. Uh, I do plan on upgrading this tourniquet. It was just what I had laying around. Wanted to put something on the belt. Uh, I know I'm probably going to get eaten up by the keyboard ninjas in the comments about how come you didn't go with the actual cat tourniquet from North American Rescue. I plan on it. Okay. Again, this was just, I had this sitting around. I wanted something on the belt. I do plan on going to the actual cat tourniquet, but in my opinion, something is better than nothing. And I'd rather have a tourniquet that I can do something with, um, even if it fails, I'd rather have it than not have anything. So that's my reasoning behind that. Uh, so that is my USPSA limited rig. Um, obviously your mileage may vary. Try out different, uh, different belts, different mag holders, different holsters. Find what works for you. That, that's the biggest thing here. Don't take my advice um, to heart and say, oh, well, this, this is what, you know, this is what the lame cell shooting guys use, so that's, that's what I need to get. Um, like I said earlier, I did a lot of research on this stuff, saw what other shooters were saying, saw what other shooters were using, and, you know, just kind of made up my mind there, and I have no... No complaints, no regrets. Another thing of note is I am not sponsored by CR Speed, Glock, uh, Blackhawk, Ghost, Holsters, none of those. I bought all this stuff with my own money, including the firearm when I bought it 10 years ago. So I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not endorsing anybody. Like I said, do your research, figure out what works for you, and go from there. This is Daryl from Lamb Seal Shooting. See you next time.